Show, the musical turned movie that's become an international phenomenon. And joining us now is the star who took on the role of Columbia. We just saw her then, Sydney born and bred Nell Campbell. Nell, happy yes. 40th anniversary. Thank you, darling. Thank yeah, you. That is, <laughs> it's great. That was always, I remember when we're at the Blue Light Disco and that song used to come on. <laughs> That was always everybody's favourite part of the yeah. song, was when you did your, I'm walking down the street. It's so great. My mother said that my voice could open a can. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> and it's opened many cans ever since. Isn't it funny, Mel, that it's been 40 years and Rocky Horror is now, you know, popular with a whole new generation of fans, isn't it? Oh, we're down, I think we've gone through three generations now. I have grandparents and their children and grandchildren coming up asking for my autograph now. When it's you, fabulous. Because you were in the, in the very original with Patricia <laughs> and Tim Curry. It was up in a room in London somewhere in the West End. Yeah. And did you uh, know that? That was a theatre upstairs of the Royal Court. Theatre upstairs of the Royal yeah. Court. Well, <laughs> it's, good, it's a professional theatre, yeah. I should have got that right. Well, but can they stop? Do we have to listen to the music? Do yes, because we off? love it. No, 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 no don't do it. I'm distracting, but you've got the music. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's just you. Silence, darling. You've got, you. you've got the real thing now. You can turn <laughs> the movie on any time you like. Did you know back then in that little theatre that it was going to be such a cult hit? Of course we did. <laughs> You're going to say, of course not. <gasps> Darling, you know, some of us are just born cult sensations. <laughs> Sorry, David, but... Now, did you have a bizarre <laughs> audition for the role of Columbia? What happened in the audition? Well, nothing bizarre happened. Slept with the director and things went from there, <laughs> you know, which I call an audition. Hello. <laughs> I don't know how you got your job, Sonia. But... <laughs> David, I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I do. <laughs> and Wayne, is a, Wayne is a great director. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a memorable role. I mean, and you're still sporting that little bob hair and stuff like that. Did you... Uh, wait, a minute, you, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you create I, this I, look? I, that was a different haircut, It was a shorter slick, mm. isn't it? That was more of an Eton crop. Oh, it's an Eton yeah, crop? And what this, do you call this one, then? This is a... I call it this the classic bob. OK. Oh, it's also called a Buster Brown. A Buster Brown? Yeah. Who's Buster Brown? An old friend of mine. Can't talk about him right now. So was that, was that a, a, a styling, you know, suggestion for the film, or was it just <laughs> your look? No one styled me. Right. It was your look completely. Uh, the, but the costume... If I'd had my choice, my, I'd have had Magenta's costume. Uh -huh. I was more... Because uh -huh. as a person, I, I'm more... In, I, the, the very white face, the red lips, mm. and the black and white, and I've always loved a maid's uniform. Mm. Who doesn't? Mm. Yeah. I have several <laughs> in my wardrobe. So I'm now more interested in yeah. your wardrobe. <laughs> but, um, but the hair was almost... I always had my own haircut. Yeah. And, uh, and the, so, yes, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have chosen... Well, in the play, I had uh, sort of tight, clotty things that I wouldn't have normally chosen with... Uh, anyway. But in the movie, it was the... It was the short the shorts. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was a short, short girl, but I have to say magenta was more my look. But, I'm, but I love the sequence. Girl style your look. Oh, yeah. Can but I, those uh, legs. Hello. And they're still amazing now. Because you're dancing? still dancing, right? <laughs> oh, treasure. Whoa! <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that, look at that extension. I know. You never lose it, Sonia. <laughs> I, 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 it was kind of like a, a jumping off point for so many stars like yourself. Meatloaf, yes. who was your love interest. No one knew who Meatloaf was. <laughs> My at the time. love interest. Well, I'm you touched know. to hear that. Yeah. No one knew. It was like working with a young Meatloaf. Would he do anything for you in love? He, he, in real life, he did. Yeah? Yeah, he's a darling of a person. Really? Yeah, and um, yes, we. we not heard of Meatloaf when he came to do the film. Was he called Meatloaf then? He was called Meatloaf. Oh. Once Meatloaf, always Meatloaf. Was, was it when you say to him, is it Meatloaf or just Meat? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't know, no one knew who he was. It was young Meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Susan Sarandon and Barry Boss, we didn't know who they were. No, either. Tim Curry? Yeah. Tim Curry, we all knew. You see, a lot of us in the film were in the original in the th theatre theater, production yeah. Yeah. from the theatre, uh, the Royal Court Theatre. So we obviously all knew each other. And then 20th Century Fox insisted we have two American stars sure. to be in those in the roles of Brad and Janet. But we actually hadn't heard of them at the mm. time, but there they were. Uh, otherwise, you would have had the original London folk, who would have been absolutely brilliant. Julie Covington, who was a... Sure, she's still a big, she was a big star after that. She was yeah. an incredible person, and she would have become a huge star. Susan Sarandon is faultless in the role, I have to throw, throw yes. that. And yeah. that is true. Barry Bostwick. Yeah. Barry, people still think... Barry is Brad. Because he kind of still looks the same, Barry, if you see him even now. But he gets treated yeah. as if he is Brad. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think 
this production has, you know, stood out when, when so many others have faded away. Now, this one... Well, no-one does this with the chorus line, do they? No. No. That's true. Why is it a cult sensation? Mm. OK, uh, these are my feelings. Um, number one, this it, it's got... All the songs are fantastic. People f seem to forget that, but the, it, it holds together... So this, the script, at, which is very short and tight, mm. and the songs are fantastic. The sex element is major, mm. OK? What other musical really has sex in it where there's, you know, cross-gender, bi, hetero, trans, the mm. whole goddamn confusion? It's not in Les Mis, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's all there. And what's been so fantastic is that it's, it's liberated people and Americans, particularly, uh, in general, mm. are Bible-bashing conservative country, let's face it. We love you, America. And <laughs> they are... Peop uh, the number of people that have told me, you know, they come from very small towns and just even being gay or wanting to wear a garter True. belt or anything like that was, you know, they just feel so isolated and their local cinema will start showing the Rocky Horror Show and they then have create these shadow casts where they perform in front of the mm. screen and they create new families of people that enjoy either, you know, just dressing they realize up they're or not the, alone. the joy of it. Yes. And they don't have to be gay or cross-dressers or No, no, it's just liberating and fun. But they, yes, and it's brought them all together and they create new families, they tell me. And they, they're in those shows for years and they meet and marry their partners and so... It's, it's created that as well. I mean, pizza, hair, of course, it had its moments in nudity, but very dull. Very yeah, dull. Very it's a very dull. Why don't you get your shit off? Where do you go from there? Yeah. I want to say happy 40th anniversary, first of all, and second of all, can we all have a dinner party together? Because you're amazing. Amazing. Oh, Thank right, you darling. so much, Noel. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Still to come, playing 